So, okay, so lesson 13. Um, I just went ahead and copied the information from the book that was relevant that explained things as well as the examples that I want to use. So I skipped around a little bit in the book and then pulled the ones that I liked and the ones that I felt the best explain the concept and picked some of those examples for us to go off of, okay? So the first thing it says about mass quantifiers is that they are sum, okay, so we know sum, sum, and we have a little or a little, and then plenty, which we can either do this way or more like the version of enough. Okay, and these are added either before a mass noun or at the end of the sentence. So if we're going to do the sign sum in a sentence, in English you would say, I think there's some food left. So in ASL then you would say, I think have left food sum. So I think food left sum. Okay, so try that again. I think food, left, some. Okay? Then for this one, grandma wants some of your pie. Okay, so I can't. <laughs> 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 there you go. <laughs> it's grandma's pie. <laughs> so, um, okay, I can't put the topicalization, like the line with the T over it. So you're going to pretend that there's a line with the T over it, and I'm just going to write topicalized in parentheses. Okay? So this one is topicalized. So you guys remember when something is topicalized, what are we going to do? Okay, so eyebrows up, you're going to lean forward a little bit, and then you pause after you finish saying what the topic is, okay? So in this one, it's your pie, is the topic. Couldn't you just underline, and then go space, 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 little t, space, 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 and then write your pie under that? If I had a whole bunch of time to invest <laughs> in adding topicalization to the PowerPoint, I bet you could. There's usually a way if there's a will. I just didn't have the will. <laughs> so <laughs> I had other things to do, interpreting and homework and Life. sleeping, you know. So yeah. <laughs> okay, so for your pie being topicalized, so you would do Raising your eyebrows, leaning forward a little bit. Your pie. Oh, I'm just my grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so your pie. We got that part. We pause. And then it's grandma want a little. Okay? So your pie. Grandma wants a little. Or a little. So try that one again. Let me see it. Okay, so your pie is topicalized. So raise your eyebrows and lean forward a little bit and then pause after pie. Let me see. Go. Okay, now one more thing is if we're referring to a person that we're talking to, a your or a you, we're going to be looking directly at a person. So you're going to be like, your pie? And so you don't want to like be like, your pie and looking up, you can't break the eye contact. You have to look exactly at that person. Okay? So go for it. Mm -hmm. Okay? Then the rest of it, grandma will want a little. Mm -hmm. Good job. Okay. So let's move on. Oh, that should have been some. Just kidding. That's why. I didn't change that one. Okay, yeah. Try that one again with the word sum. <laughs> We're going to do a variation on the spot. Go for it. So your pie, topicalized. Is that what no. Where are you putting so, the sum? Instead of a little, oh, okay. then it will be sum. Yeah. <laughs> so this was an example for sum, and I okay. even wrote it there. I just uh, copied the wrong place. So, so your pie. There we go. Makes more sense for it to be some than a little. Yeah. This usually refers to like little, not just pie. Okay? Then we are moving on to a little where we can talk about eating a little cheese. Okay? So I'll eat a little cheese. So the book has it written two ways. You can do I eat cheese a little or I eat a little cheese. Okay? Yeah. So this one has no topicalization or anything extra in it. So it would just be I, we'll do the first one eat. Okay, now remember, so food is twice, so that would be the noun, 
and then eat the verb is just one time. Okay? So um, in ASL, then I think all of them, if I'm not mistaken, most of them at least, um, the noun verb pairs, like if you have chair and sit, if you tap twice, it's chair. If you tap once, it's sit down or sit. Yes. Okay? So the same with most things like that. So if it's twice, then it's referring to the noun. If it's once, then it's the verb. Okay? So for I eat cheese a little. Time. Yeah, one time for the verb and then twice for the noun. Okay? So I eat cheese a little. So I eat cheese. Or we could do I eat a little cheese. I eat a little cheese. Okay? And then this one, he drank a little bit of my soda. Okay? So my soda is topicalized. Lime tea. <laughs> Isn't that good? I should just bring like a pen and write on it. So, write on it. So I could bring board. a post it. <laughs> yeah. post it. Or a piece of tape. Put it there. Or erasable. And you can spend oh. an hour after it. That's so yeah. true. Erasable <laughs> or you could. <laughs> no. Yeah, I, I don't think like so. Sometimes. Oh, you do too? Yeah, like two hours. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, you yeah. know. Okay, so he drank a little bit of my soda. Okay, so in ASL, then we're going to sign my soda, topicalized. He drank a little. Okay, so eyebrows up, lean forward a little, and pause afterwards. So, my soda. So, this is a sign for soda or soda pop. This is just like the general. So, you put your middle finger and pop it back on. Soda pop. So for this one, my soda, he drink a little bit, okay? So my soda, he, pick a spot, he drink a little, a little, okay? So then we have plenty, okay? So if we just do plenty like this, plenty. So I have a lot of furniture, okay? So this is a sign for furniture, furniture, okay? So have furniture, plenty, I, okay? And then this one, I have a lot of homework left to do. So I plenty work left. So I plenty work 